We're taking shortcuts. Guys, rise and shine. It's race time. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Day two, uh, we up nice and early, uh, just getting ready. The cars in park for me, they're coming out just now. Uh, we're going to try and change oil in 10 minutes, uh, so we need to drop the sump guard. Uh, yesterday we were having a bit of oil pressure problem uh, and the VVT wasn't working. So uh, hopefully we change oil, put a slightly thicker oil. Uh, with the sand, uh, it's like driving on the beach and the engines are getting hot and the oil's getting thin, which is uh, causing the VVT not to work properly, it's intermittent. So uh, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do in this uh, short service and then uh, we're into uh, three stages and then there's one service and then another three stages and that's the rally. So we've got a bit of pressure, we need to catch Chad, but uh, yeah, car's feeling good. We just need to sort the VVT out and we're ready to go. Welcome to day two of the Imperial Toyota Cullinan Rally. As you can see from up there, there's been a complete turnaround in the weather. It is overcast, fairly chilly with a forecast of rain, but the rally will be over probably before we get any. Certainly we had an interesting walk around yesterday. The people who are in with a chance of moving up a position, people like Hans Weiss, who's only five seconds off second place, he will be going flat out. Hergen Fecken, he's probably going to be under team orders not to pressure Leroy, because Leroy is well ahead. In fact, they lead the championship, obviously, whereas Fecken is in third place. Mark Grenier is in sixth overnight, and he is hoping to finish up on the podium. We saw his gearbox, and I'm not an engineer, but I'm, I know you're not supposed to be able to see the internal cogs of a gearbox from outside the gearbox. We saw it. That's 200,000 rands worth of damage. He will be aiming for a podium, he will be going flat out. In the 1600s, there's 11 seconds between Chad van Bearden and Guy Bottrell. Guy, of course, looking for his fifth victory, Chad his career first victory. That is going to be an amazing fight. We'll bring you the action as the day unfolds. Starting day two of the rally, we've got a lead of, of 11 seconds. We're going to repeat all the six stages of, of, uh, of yesterday in the same order. And um, 11 seconds is not, not a lot at all. So we're going to have to keep the pressure on and, and keep pushing like we did yesterday. Good morning guys, uh, day two and uh, we're all fresh and ready for the second day. Yesterday we had a bit of a drama, we, we had no drive in the car and uh, we were not sure what the problem was until we took the donor's car gearbox and fitted that and it wasn't the gearbox, it wasn't the clutch and so we fitted spare drive shafts and that seems to be the issue that we had. So today we're going to push and be like young men and go rally today. Ashley Hicks Smith, um, he's currently looking at um the uh, DVD which shows the, uh, the stages that they're doing and he's adjusting his uh, pace notes. It's probably footage from uh, yesterday in car, that's what it appears like. Uh, a bit busy at the moment, so I don't think we're going to get a word out of him. Yesterday started off half decent, we hit a rock, so we think that caused damage to our drive shaft. And second stage, our, it felt like our gearbox started going. And fourth stage, it completely packed up, so we had, luckily we had a spare car here and we swapped the gearboxes, but nothing. we stripped the gearbox, nothing was wrong, so we put spare drive shafts in. Hopefully today, was under the Super Rally, will go well. We'll see, we'll push today. Hi, my name is Chris Kurtzer. Um, I compete in the Electro Thread uh, Toyota Etios R2. Unfortunately, uh, yesterday didn't go so well for us. On stage four, we went slightly wide on a corner and uh, in the grass, hidden which we couldn't see, there was something, a rock or a piece of concrete that we hit. Um, unfortunately, we um, bent a lower control arm on the car, which meant that the front, front right wheel was out of position in the, in the fender. And uh, we still had two stages to go. Unfortunately, on the next stage, uh, stage five, we broke a drive shaft, which uh, effectively put us out for the day. Good for the team though. I mean, Gem Sports got a lot of cars going here and uh, at the moment three cars are in podium position so from a team perspective we're happy but uh, unfortunately uh, this is how the sport goes you never know whether you're up or down up one minute and right rock bottom the next but it's fun
just uh, finished day two a little bit earlier than what we should have. Uh, going into the first stage this morning, right on the start line, uh, we had a broken drive shaft. Uh, the drive shaft snapped as we pulled off. But uh, we drove the whole stage on one drive shaft and then we got to the second stage and about 100 meters in the diff broke. So um, there's zero drive. So unfortunately, uh, that's the end of our rally. We're halfway through day two. Um, we've done three stages this morning. The first stage went very well. Um, we won it by quite a margin. Um, and then second stage also. Then um, the third stage we had a bit of an overshoot. Uh, cost us about 20-25 seconds. Um, we think we still got got a good um, lead over the guys. Um, guy had had drive shaft problems, so we've got three stages to go, and I think we must just keep it together. So we've had a really good day today. Um, yeah, we thought did a couple of changes last night in the notes. Had them a bit this morning, and felt really fresh. And thought we'd go out and have some fun. And yeah, we on the first stage we took off five. I think it was five seconds off Ernie, so it was really good to have a good bit of a motivation. I think we sent the second fastest tire. Pretty about to hear what happened to Guy with the side shaft. And yeah, we thought now this is our time to push on. So we've pushed in the last two stages, and uh, we're now in second place, 0.1 second ahead of Ernie. And uh, I think we now 34 behind behind Chad, so I don't know if he had a problem or not, or he's just now taking it easy. So we'll see how it goes in the next three. Yeah, no, we're here from Four Ways, obviously the big city life, uh, just coming out here to the rural areas. Um, we're here with Team Program and Yato Tools, Simon uh, Base Lawn, obviously Guy Bottrell. Yeah, just coming to support them, obviously Matthew Base Lawn and Scott from here as well. But having a great time, bit of a course, got the beers going, a uh, bit of dust, got but uh, that was lovely. On the back of a couple of eggs and bacon, and we, uh, yeah, so, 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 so <laughs> yeah. ready to hit it hard. Great to see you guys. Cheers. 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 down really for us uh, unfortunately some other guys that broke down but uh, yeah we'll take it third place is third place so we'll make the points for that and thanks to VW for an awesome car and uh, good luck to Chad who, who won the rally. Um, so we're at the end of the rally um, we're so happy we we managed to win by 28 seconds um, throughout the day it was difficult to to weigh up how, how fast we should go and and try and keep the car on the road but we managed to do it and um, yeah, great job to, to GM Sport for their preparation. The car was so strong this weekend and um, we had good pace. Um, so this is looking good for the next, next rally and we, we're so excited for Cape Town. Yeah, we had a, quite a good day today. Uh, the car went well once we sorted the problem out this morning. Uh, we sorted out the engine issues. Uh, yeah, it went quite well, the times are good and uh, we managed to claw back to fourth. We had a great day today, um, very successful, better half far for the next of the stages we i think got four stage wins so it was really nice to get a nice up on the pace again um damien was really spotting the notes so it was good so no it was uh, pretty much chad i was actually pretty about our guy it was really it was really a shame because i think it would have been a really good fight in the end so but no well done to chad for pulling off a great win and really keeping us on our toes and yeah 
bring on Scotland where it's our home ground. So I'm really looking forward to some quite surprises on this jump. So. <laughs> We've reached the end of the Imperial Toyota Cullinan Rally and what a day it's been. The event is truly done and very, very dusted. Toyota's Leroy Poulter and Alvin Kutsia open up their championship lead by an additional 10 points. So the sponsors Imperial Toyota are very, very happy. Second place is career best finish is Jaapie van Nikar, Gerald Sneijman in the Ford Fiesta. And third place is uh, Hergen Fecken and Carolyn Swan in the second Toyota. We had last minute drama stage 11 when third place Hans Weiss and Bjorn de Gant from Europe rolled their Volkswagen Polo um, out, of, out of the podium position, which of course didn't really please the management. In Super 1600, 19 year old Chad van Bierden and co driver Nico Swartz claimed their career first win in their Volkswagen Polo R2. Guy Bottrell and Simon Vasey Lyle um, were unfortunate to break a drive shaft in the very first stage this morning and they are out, but they still hold a comfortable championship lead, although it's been cut from 44 points to we estimate about 20 points. So Another bad event, uh, we could have a fight on our hands. Anyway, second overall was Ashley Haig Smith and Damien van Ossen in their Ford Fiesta. And in third place in Super 1600, and it only his second outing in his Volkswagen Polo, is um, Andrew Heine from Port Elizabeth, one of seven Heine clan who rallies. We'll catch you in 33 days' time at the Toyota Dealer Cape Rally. This is Dave Ledwitter from rallyworld.net for KalumaTV.com.